do you guys remember the web cut video? That is one of the videos I am the most proud of, and it marks a special place in my channel's history. It was the first time I ever put a hashtag in one of my videos, which ended up getting me more views. It was the first video that got me my first non-friend related subscriber. And it will always hold a very special place in my heart. So today, I decided to do something similar, only with a different Spider-Man movie. This time, with Spider-Man 3. Back in the day when I first watched this movie, I absolutely hated it. And it was my least favorite Spider-Man movie. Some of the reasons include... Having a version of Gwen that can be best described as a one-dimensional valley girl. Edgy Peter Parker. And having the worst version of Venom that has ever been put in fiction. But as time has gone on, I've actually grown quite more fond of this movie. There are many things I actually like about it. And I can say I do actually love this movie now. Some of the reasons I do are... Having one of the best Stan Lee cameos of all time. Having the best version of Sandman. Having a Peter meets the burglar that killed his uncle scene that was a million times better than what Spectacular did. And I love Spectacular, though that episode was terrible. But that's for another time. And you know what? Even back when I hated this movie, few scenes could ever make me cheer, like when Harry went to save Peter. You know what else? It also had the most tolerable ish Mary Jane in this trilogy. That's the nicest thing you're ever going to hear me say about this version of MJ. But you know, I wasn't the only person who hated this movie. Back in the day, this movie had a very infamous reputation. Hate for it has definitely slowed down over time and more and more people are liking this movie. But back then, just like with the Amazing Spider-Man series, all the problems I just listed and more were thanks to the studio, not because of the director. It is for all these reasons and more that a new hashtag has been created. Hashtag release the Raimi cut. Like I said with the web cut, it's basically like the Snyder cut or Superman 2, only applied to Spider-Man 3. I think there's one deleted scene that I know about that perfectly explains why I want this to get made. And here it is. It has to do with this guy. If you're wondering what this is, this is the original Venom death scene. Originally, when Spider-Man killed the symbiote, he would find that the rage that Eddie filled literally was eating him up. That would add so much to the story, and I think overall with the message of the story. You know, with No Way Home coming out, and that leaked footage of Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire's hands, maybe we will get a web cut and a Raimi cut soon. Tobey Maguire is my favorite movie Spider-Man, and I would absolutely love to see him either in No Way Home or in a Raimi cut. 